Fitz. All right, let's talk about financial reform now. Doug uh, Flynn of Flynn Zito has been with us this morning. I was reading a piece on Politico earlier today where it said that the, the, Jenna mentioned the word bailout, that the Republicans are purposely using that word that the pollster Frank Luntz, a friend of Fox, came up with that term supposedly and told him you got to use the word bailout to make it look like the banks are getting bailed out. Right. Do, you, do you feel like the FDIC's model where there's an insurance fund that the banks pay into themselves, is that a bailout or is it something different? I, I don't think if you're rescued by the FDIC, if that's a bailout, I think that's just a failed bank. That because you still fail and yeah. they sell off the assets. I mean, that's what Absolutely. they're talking about in this legislation yeah. or something similar to it. Do we yes. need something like that or we just let well, them fail? Both sides, I think, are trying to play to what the American people like to hear. They like to hear that there's some kind of financial regulation going on yeah. to stop all these greedy people from, you know, hurting everybody. Um, so they're going to play it to their advantage on both sides. At the end of the day, I, you know, in the industry, you just want to know what the rules are. So you can go back to work and, and make some money. So you're saying there's political posturing going on in this process? Just I can't believe that accusation. Yeah. Let's talk about this, uh, this idea to regulate derivatives. Now, the reason why, by the way, that the banks were going to the Agriculture Committee, which sounds strange when it comes to the banking industry, mm -hmm. is because they can introduce another legislation for the Senate to c consider, another set of reforms. So do you think this needs to be part of the reform that we have on the table here in the Senate that we got to look at these derivatives and have a game plan on how banks should deal with them. I, I think the banks like the rules the way they are and um, But is well, that good for us and, well, and for the economy and know, for the financial system? Uh, is the government going to be smart enough to figure out all the possibilities of what uh, you know, people well, the possibility they're considering is a clearinghouse. That's right. not necessarily part and, of the government. You know, it could be. We don't know, really. If they put that in, uh, I'm, that may be a little less desirable, but in the end, what they're going to do is find out what the rules are and say, okay, now we know how to uh, take advantage of that situation. And there'll always be unforeseen and unexpected things that come out of uh, the new system that they right. create that they can't foresee. So you're looking at the, it sounds like, the uncertainty of the system now and that creates some sort of an environment where for investing it's tough to figure out you know, which companies to pick and choose for your clients because you don't know what the rules governing those companies will be. So does that mean banking stocks are not a great investment over the next year or two or, uh, or, or, or is that going too far? I, I think that there's a lot of profit and opportunity still in the banks, but it might limit them somewhat. But it's, it's if you make $10 a share or you could have made 10 and a quarter, how right. are you going to know? But if they really push a ban on prop trading, for example, on big Wall Street banks, I mean, that makes them less profitable. No right? doubt about it. I, that will definitely hurt their business. Slower growth. Uh -huh. And then maybe they spin that out and they go, uh, people go more independent and find a way to make money. I mean, that's what, what this is all about. Just tell us what the rules are and we'll go figure it out. But I definitely think it's going to weigh down on the earnings and it's going to make them less desirable as an investment class going forward because they're just go not going to make as much money as they, as they could before. For right. those that know what they're doing in that market. But is that better? For the financial system overall, I mean, you saw these these banks ballooning mm -hmm. with profit. True, yeah. and, and they could and blow look it at up. What would happen? They could blow it up if they if they do it the wrong way. So I think you know. Then tell us that you don't want that at all, and then you'll end up splitting the banks into into those into those different. You know, interesting ways. editorial in the Financial Times today that says that the banks have to come out and tell the American people that they're responsible for us being a global financial superpower yes and that we're they're not sending that message was which is an important message to send instead of just getting beat up by definitely uh, what politicians and, are saying you know hedging gets such a bad name but a lot of times if you do it right it's it's meant to mitigate risks and stop you from having the risks you have it can go the other way but if sure. it's done right it's actually a benefit I think it's horribly uh, uh, explained uh, across uh, America and people just they want to see some kind of reform so they can say, yeah, you know, get Got those, yeah. get those, those bad guys that, that hurt me in my house. And, and uh, it's not all like that. There is always going to be that, no matter what you do. Uh, that's mm -hmm. the way we look at it. All right, Doug, thank you very much. Doug Flynn's been with us uh, this morning. And now we want to move on and run through your agenda for today.